Welcome back. Miami International Airport is showing off the first ever airport team of COVID sniffing dogs. They are specially trained to detect and alert officials of any potentially infected travelers before they board. And get this, the dogs get it right more than 97% of the time. Joining me now is Dr. Kenneth Furton. He is provost and executive vice president and COO at Florida International University. We're also joined by Yahoo Finance's Danny Romero. Uh, hello and good afternoon to you both. Uh, so doctor, tell us how this is working with these dogs. How long have, have they been doing this? And is it just, is it passengers that are being uh, sniffed now or is it just employees of the airport? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, it's great, great to be here with you. Um, right now we're just doing uh, the employees of uh, mostly American Airlines employees at one of the checkpoints. And uh, we initially had started this program here at FIU's campus uh, searching areas, but this is the first time we're applying these dogs to detecting people. And it's about three weeks into a two month pilot at uh, Miami International Airport. And, and Doctor, one you know thing, I know that it's, it's part of a 30 day pilot program, like you said, um, you know, will we see this kind of expand to other um, airports and, and do we know like the timeline of when travelers will also expect this? Yeah, that's a great question. So we, uh, we were able to show and we did it published a double blind study that the dogs can be reliable over 97% of the time that's under controlled uh, circumstances. So now we're deploying them at a busy airport, Miami International Airport, one of the busiest. And so once we complete the study, the hope is that we would be able to expand it uh, throughout uh, MIA and then to other airports uh, around the country uh, based on the success of the, and, the, and what we learned from this initial pilot. And, are and they, how are do they dogs really know what COVID smells like? Well, what's interesting is what we do is we just take uh, face coverings, like masks that you would, you know, wear, um, and uh, we take we work with a local uh, partner, Baptist Health South Florida, and so we have patients who were positive with COVID and other patients who had negative for COVID, and then we shine UV light onto the masks and we're able to deactivate the virus, but the odor is still there. We confirm in the lab that the odor is there. And so the dogs are really just working to get their treat or, or their toy in this case. So uh, they like to play for a little red ball called a Kong. And if they find the right uh, mask, then they get to play with their toy. And we just do over and over, over a period of, if the dog's already trained, it only takes um, a few weeks really to train them to the new odor. If they're brand new green dogs, it might take a few months to get them uh, proficient, but they really pick up the odor just in a matter of days. That is just incredible. And are these specific breeds of dogs that you're working with? And also, can they pick up the different variants? Because we know that this virus, you know, it continues to mutate. Yeah, so the two dogs that um, are right now deployed at Miami International Airport are one's a Belgian Malinois and the other is a Dutch Shepherd. Um, they're both about seven and a half years old and they're 98 and 99 percent um, effective. One's called Cobra and one's called One Beta. Uh, but we've also worked with uh, with rescue dogs, um, so dogs that just come from a shelter. So any dog can be trained to do it. Um, it's just a matter of the drive. So you want a dog that that wants to, uh, in this case, have a play reward, or in some cases, like we have beagles that we've trained uh, that like to eat. And so, and you've seen the beagle brigade at the airport that do for agriculture. Um, so it is possible to use pretty much any breed. And what's the accuracy, I guess, among the different breeds? And, you know, have you found any positive cases since the program rolled out? Yeah, so in the in the case of the four dogs that we did in our published paper, uh, the, the purebreds actually did slightly better, but they were all over 96% uh, reliable, so all very effective. Um, and we've only had a couple of alerts so far at the airport in this pilot study. Uh, one had re a passenger had or a employee had just finished uh, going through COVID-19 and was just returning to work. And so when there is an alert, then the person goes and gets a PCR test, agrees. So this is a, we have a volunteer line and people agree to be part of the study, at least at this stage. And then if they're positive, they can get a, a rapid PCR, a rapid, uh, test or they can go get the PCR before they return to work. 
All right, well, it is fascinating what those dogs continue to do and how they all help us. Truly, uh, man and woman's best friend. Dr. Kenneth Furton, uh, Executive Vice President, COO at Florida International University. Thanks so much. And of course, to Yahoo Finance's Danny Romero.